Hi and welcome to this week's video. Um, following on from the poll that I did on YouTube just to see what type of projects you wanted to see me doing, um, I'd noticed that really there's quite a lot of people who want to see some resin casting and I quite often do resin casting and don't film it um, because it's just custom orders and stuff. But from now on I think I'm going to start recording some of them so that you can just watch along and um, I'll do a bit of explanation around what I'm doing and why as well. Today um, the casting I'm going to be doing is with this um, elm block, beautiful piece of elm. I previously stabilised this using the uh, Turntex vacuum chamber and cactus juice and I just did it in a clear because we don't want any colour in this. This um, casting size today is going to be 160 millimetres long by 100 millimetres by 80. I'm going to be using the corrugated plastic here as a mould um, using hot glue and uh, yeah I thought I'd take you along and show you what I'm doing. The caster's choice colours that I'm using are silver, cobalt blue and black. So basically the first thing that I want to actually get done is get the base of my mould um, complete and then to make sure that it'll fit in the pressure chamber so the way I basically will be doing it is just I think I'll move the camera down a little bit so you can see a little bit more of it okay so this will be the base of it so Glue should be ready now. So just do a it really is just to stick it in place. Right, so next thing is just to go along this bottom seam. There's always little seams in this corrugated. It's to go along the little seam and then hold it down into place on the casting. If you wait till it's nice and hot, it runs really free. I've just found this does a really, really good seal at the bottom. We will do more than one line, but this will get it standing up. Second side. Do the same again. Hot glue along. This time I'll go along the bottom and up both sides. that in for a minute. This one done. So again, down both sides. On the bottom. Okay, so uh, some extra glue sticks there because now the big thing is to go around all the seams. This is Okay, I will wait for that to cool and then I will actually go around again. But I'll come back for you um, just when I'm getting ready to start the resin. I've been feeling so small 
Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Lay my troubles to rest Blow the smoke through my cigarette City lights looking My time now I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive Someone else, I'm gonna be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my Hi and welcome back. So this is the final block. Um I demolded it already. Actually the um corrugated plastic was a nightmare to get off um because I'd forgot to put mold release on it. So it took quite a while to get it back off again, but uh with mold release it does work really well. So that's the front of the blank there. Obviously the burr goes all the way around the bottom half. Really, really pleased on how it came out. Although um, it wasn't for the, the person that wanted it, it wasn't big enough. So I'm going to be cutting this into pen blanks and I am going to be putting it up on Etsy and they will be on there now. I'm going to put a link down below if you are interested because I know there was some interest when I put the little clip video up um, but I'm really really pleased with the cells that's in this and the colour should look pretty good. Following that I did go on and make another blank. This is another one. It's got green and black in it and I'm not too sure whether this will be cut down just now but if it is it will also be up there and I'll put the link below to this ones because um, I was thinking out the two of them I will take some knife scales off them as well as um, some pen blanks so there'll be a bit of a mix it'll be quite interesting to see how they all come out and <clears throat> I will link the photos next because this won't be going out quite yet and over the next 24 hours I'm going to decide how I'm going to cut it down so I will put the photos at the end but I hope you enjoyed this video. Got some more videos coming up. I'm still filming all the time. Um, I've just not got a set day when they all go up. But I hope you enjoyed this one. And thanks very much for watching. Remember, keep calm and stay foxy. If you're interested in one of these t-shirts, this t-shirt is from Making It Out of the Woods. Um, Claire's been making her t-shirts over the lockdown. Um, it's got a little bit on the back there as well. I'll put the link to Claire's channel down below and her Facebook. Do get in touch with her if you want one of these t-shirts. Look at the beautiful stars, I want to drive a faster car.